If you have a compact or subcompact concealed carry gun that is already optics ready, chances are it is shield RMSC cut. Many budget handguns like the Taurus GX4 Toro are cut for this pattern. Some come bundled with an optic out of box, oftentimes a budget offering from Ridden or Crimson Trace. However, if yours didn't come with a red dot or if you're looking to upgrade to something with a little more reliability, Hollow Sun has a budget option for you, the Hollow Sun 407K. But before we dive in, drop us a comment on what your carry gun setup is. Do you run a red dot? In the last class I took, only one guy was running iron, so I wanna check the pulse of the community. Today, we're going to review Hollow Sun's most affordable red dot, the Hollow Sun 407K. The 407K retails generally for a little under $250, but if you pick up the optic direct from a Hollow Sun dealer, you can sometimes get steep discounts below matte pricing. The 407K technically has its own proprietary K footprint. The K footprint has slightly larger holes than the Shield RMSC, allowing for the optics cut to have recoil lugs, which is a really nice feature. However, the optic cut is also still compatible with Shield RMSC pattern cuts, making it compatible with the vast majority of concealed carry pistols on the market. In this video, my brother is shredding these targets with the SIG P365 with the 407K in a Pistol 2 class. Keep in mind that the K footprint differs from the C footprint in that the K footprint correlates to a Shield RMSC compatibility and the C footprint correlates to the Trijicon's RMR footprint. The 407K comes in two color options, black or more recently FDE. I have mine in flat dark earth with an adapter plate so that it'll run on an RMR footprint. So at the moment, mine is equipped to a PSA Dagger Compact or a Glock 19 clone. If you need an RMR footprint optic, check out our review of the Holosun 507C. The FDE matches my Dagger slide as well. I opted for this model as I wait for the Dagger Micro to come out, as this will eventually go on a Dagger Micro FDE slide. The 407K X2 is basic. It differs from the 507K model in that it only has one reticle option. It features a standard 6 MOA dot. The 507K costs a little more, but has two reticle options, a 2 MOA dot and a 32 MOA circle. Most people don't need the second option though, although it is nice if you have an astigmatism. The 6 MOA dot is easy to pick up. It makes it a great option for shooting within 50 yards. It'll cover about a three inch area at 50. I generally prefer two MOA dots, but as my eyes age, I might prefer a larger dot. The optic has push button controls for brightness like most hollow sun optics. The controls are tactile and high quality. The turrets on the 407K also feel tactile and high quality. They make a click noise with every rotation, which correlates to a half MOA adjustment. The optic is rugged and durable. I've run it with several hundred rounds so far and it has held up well. My brother, as mentioned earlier, has run one with a much higher round count on his EDC. He runs it with multiple classes and it's still running strong. My only complaint about this optic is the glass clarity. It is definitely usable, but the glass is a little hazy as compared to higher end hollow sun optics. I run the Hollow Sun EPS MRD, which is an enclosed emitter red dot optic that runs for about $420. It has super clear glass. However, the 407K for nearly half that price, so the EPS may not make sense for you. Overall, the 407K is a great value and should be the baseline for any micro compact concealed carry setup. While cheaper options exist, the Shield RMSC footprint is generally for EDC concealed carry pistols. So I would not trust my life to anything cheaper than this optic, as I've had many lower end optics fail on me before. Even so, I love the 407K. It's a great value optic and really is the baseline workhorse that I think most people will want to fill their concealed carry needs. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel and check out our full reviews. We have a growing list of reviews, especially for pistol red dot optics, so there's a good chance if you're looking at a different optic that we've already reviewed it. Have a great day.